What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Now, as you can see, we're in the fish room tonight. It's a little bit late. I've just had the delivery down here in this poly box from the guy who I got the plecos off last time. He texted me last week saying, I've got another pleco, do you want it? Um, he gave me a price I couldn't refuse. So basically, he's just shot the fish off and it's in this box now. So it's gonna be a video all about unboxing this fish and what pleco it is, etc., etc. But I may as well show you the arowana that we put in this massive 10,000, uh, 10,000, what am I about? A thousand litre tank behind us because he's doing absolutely fantastic now. And I'll show you the tail. He's eating like crazy, which is good. I've done some big water changes and stuff like that. So let me just show you the arowana. So here's the blue base arowana. His tail's still pretty messed up, but it's a lot better than it is, as you can see. Now, the video I've done on this was probably the last video before this. So you can see the tail is growing back nice now. So there's no arowanas in here sort of picking on him. And his gill flap has grown back really well. So I'm really happy with that because I was so scared about putting this fish in here. I thought I was going to lose him. But I've been doing some crazy water changes, keeping up the tank maintenance. And he's doing absolutely fantastic. And um, hopefully he chills out in this tank now. And um, yeah, hopefully he has a good life. But I will be getting him a bigger tank soon. But anyway, let's get on with the uh, unboxing of this Pleco. Now, if you hear some funny noises in the fish room tonight, it's my little Yorkshire Terrier Bruno here. He's making loads of noises. He probably wants to go outside and bark at the hedgehogs like he does most nights. But I'm going to leave him in here and chill tonight. But anyway, Bruno, let's open up this uh, box and find out what pleco we've got. So, there's the box opened. You can see the water. It's just got the tannins in it, as always. But here's the pleco here. So, we have got ourselves a 7.0 R L25 Scarlet Pleco. So it's absolute beautiful fish. Check him out. Now I have got one of these already in my monster tank, but he's about six or ten times so, um, bigger than him. He's absolutely massive. This is quite a small fish. Look at him compared to my hand. But it's an absolute beautiful specimen and it's a seven pointer. The one I've got in my um, 2000 litre aquarium, it's not a seven pointer. He is really nice and colourful, but apparently this fish is absolutely beautiful when he colours up. Now he's going to be a little bit stressed in this poly box here, obviously in a car for the last hour or so. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to get some water out of the tank behind us, pump it into this box here, just let him acclimate for 20 minutes or so. And then I'm probably going to put him in this tank behind us here and just let him sort of chill for a bit in this tank. Because there's not a lot going on here anymore, there's, there's a few bristle nose, there's a couple of snails, there's a stunning blue acara which I picked up, it's not going to be picked on by anything like that. And the plecos are, are not big enough to sort of tear into them when it, anything like that. This tank gets properly fed. There's a few mussels and sit, um, a few mussels sitting at the bottom as well. So let me get some water into the poly box, and we'll put the pleco in this tank. Right on the last video, I added one of these plecos into one of these tanks. A lot of people said, "Oh, you should drip feed the water into the box," but I haven't got a drip feed system. I could do it with an airline, like um, on an airstone. But I'm going to do it the way I've done it for the last 15 years, which is just basically siphon some water into the box. Um, and I've had, never had any problems doing that. So if anyone's got any issues with that, it's up to you. This is the way I've always done it, and it's always fine with me. So that's water in the box now. I'm going to leave it 20 odd minutes or so, go inside, grab myself a beer, and I'll come back out here and um, basically put the fish in this tank. It's been 20 minutes. I've just checked the fish. It's all good, ready to go. The temperature in there feels fine. I sort of put my hand in there and I put my hand in there, you, you know, they feel roughly the same. But let's not stress this fish out anymore. Let's get him in this tank and then we can check him out and see what he looks like in the tank. Now, just looking for my little nets, but I know who's been in, in here and picked them up. My little boy keeps coming in there with my missus and he goes through all my buckets and he keeps picking all my nets up. So I'm going to be finding a net now probably for 20 minutes or so. Right, literally five minutes later, just found a net. He keeps taking them into his um, little play area in there where he's got his kitchen and stuff. And he, yeah, basically just nicks all my stuff. But anyway, I've got a net now. Let's get the fish in. Okay, Pleco's in. Tank's all topped up again. Everyone seems fine in here. So let me show you the fish because he's actually at the front of the glass now. So there he is. Let me show you a side view of him it's a bit better. So there's a distinctive sort of like flame tail they have, these L25s. So like I said before, I have a big L25, which probably goes from here to sort of here somewhere, maybe even bigger, which is in my 2000 litre tank. It's really deceiving to see how big your fish is when you've got a tank that big, because obviously the fish don't actually look that big in the tank until you put them in sort of a tank like this and you realize how big they are. 
But check this guy out, man. He's so cool. So he's definitely a seven point. Now I can see on his fins, he has got the orange distinctive markings, but um, he's obviously very stressed at the moment. He's just been in the car for the last hour and now he's just been thrown into a new tank. So what we'll probably do, I'm gonna put the camera down now. We'll come back tomorrow night after work when I get in from work, video him and see what he's saying tomorrow night because um, he's quite stressed. So I'm gonna turn the lights off now, just sort of let the tank chill out, let him chill out. And like I said, we'll come back and see what he's like tomorrow. I've just realised I need the camera for tomorrow because I'm going to film a discus tank tomorrow night. So I need to get the camera on charge. So I am going to try and video the rest of this video right now. So I've left the tank for about 20 minutes or so and I've come back in. So I'm going to see if we can get some good uh, video clips of the new Pleco. But I'm not promising anything because you know what Pleco's are like? You buy them and you don't see them at all. But he's still at the back there, just on the glass, you can see him. If I just put the camera around here, there you go. There's a little bit better view for you, but you can see the fish just at the bottom there. We'll obviously do some more videos on this fish, but obviously today it's just like an unboxing fish, showing you what I got, that sort of thing. So, But I will do like another fish room tour, because I have been getting new fish. There's lots of new stuff going on here at the moment, like I've got this Titanic Pleco here. Obviously our iron has been moved into this tank. I've got the clown latches, there's loads. There's 17 clown latches in this tank. There's loads going on. And I've always got new fish coming here and there. And um, yeah, there's so many tanks and stuff going on all the time. So, but I will um, do an update on all my tanks. And I'm still waiting on the other tank from ND, which is coming here. I have had a thought about tanks as well. I do want to get myself another six foot tank like this, maybe this sort of depth in the, um, sorry, this sort of length in the depth of the tank, if that makes sense. So I want it deeper this way, not higher. For one of my Asian Arowanas and a couple of Stingrays, because I just love these fish. Look at this, look at this on its own. It just looks absolutely mad in this tank on its own, swimming about. Obviously not on its own because there's Oscars in here, but what I mean is is just one Arowana in the tank. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And Arowanas do fight. And now I'm a bit worried about my other, other arowanas because obviously I've still got four Asians in the other tank and a big silver. So I am a little bit worried about that. But what's your thoughts on that? I'm thinking about getting another six foot tank built in this room. I know this ain't the biggest room in the world. I could get another one put here, move that freezer somewhere. Maybe put the freezer against the wall there, put the six foot tank there. Then maybe another four foot tank there. But um, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I might speak to Dom at ND Aquatics and see what he can do for me. But anyway, I'll stop going on guys. That's the video done for today. Sorry I can't get you the best video of this fish. But like I said, I will film this fish again one day. And we're doing a sick video tomorrow, like I said. We're going to Sandy Discus' house. I'm going to video his discus tank. I think his tank is around 450, 500 litres. And he's got some beautiful specimens in there. And he's got some plecos. There's all sorts of bits going on there. You should follow him on Instagram, go and check him out. Um, it's called Sandy Discus on Instagram. I don't think he's got a YouTube channel, I'm pretty sure he hasn't. But I'm, honestly, it's going to be a really cool video tomorrow. I'm going to finish work, have a shower, um, get straight in the van, and go around there and video his tank. But anyway, guys, I'll stop going on now. That's the video done for today. Thanks for watching the video as always, everyone. Like and subscribe to the channel, ding the notification bell, and keep it real, everyone.